This video will show you how to download and install Onset's Hoboware Pro free trial software. It will also show you how to install or enter a license key number to register your version of Hoboware. A couple of notes about how registry, um, how license keys are used in the Windows registry. Um, the license key when it's installed is stored in the Windows registry and it stays there even after Hoboware is uninstalled by the user. This means that if you uninstall Hoboware and then at some future time you reinstall it, Hoboware will find the original uh, license key. It will still be there. The other thing to keep in mind about how license keys work is that they follow the person who's logged into that computer when the software is installed. That means that if you install Hoboware and then put in a license key to register it and then log off, the next person who logs onto that computer as a different user will get the Hoboware 30-day free trial version of Hoboware because the license key was assigned to the person who previously logged in. To obtain the Hoboware Pro free trial, go to our website, onsetcomp.com, which we are at here, hover over products, click on software, and then click on download free trial. Fill out the little form that, that asks you your name and how you're going to use the software, and then download and save that installer file or the setup file. I would suggest putting it in a location that you can find it easily again. Um, I've put it on my desktop. And here it is. Let's double click on that and we'll run through the setup. Click on run. Uh, this will ask you what language you would like to have it installed in. And it will go through the Hoboware setup wizard. We want to accept the license agreement. Click next. This will ask you what locations, what file locations you want to uh, install Hoboware. I would strongly suggest just leaving these in as the default. Click next. Next again. Uh, we, it'll ask you if you want to create a desktop icon. We'll say sure. And then we'll install. So we'll see how the files are being extracted from the self-extracting zip file, the exe file. Once this is done, we will get a, uh, a final window that pops up and it will ask us if we want to read or look at the readme.rtf file. The readme file has all the information about the hardware requirements for Hoboware, including um, any kind of uh, special caveats for specific types of loggers that might be available. It's a good thing to read through. It does live in your Hoboware folder under your program files, uh, onset computer um, program files, onset computer corp. Hoboware. Um, so you can look at that at a future time if you want to. For brevity, we won't look at that right now. And we'll click Finish. So now that we're finished with that, here is the icon that was created when it, we selected to create a desktop icon. So we're going to open Hoboware now by double-clicking on it. You can see it comes up as the Hoboware Pro Free Trial. It asks if you want to check for updates as a default. Um, this is the latest version. Anytime you download the free trial is the latest version, so we can click No. And we, we're going to run, now we run through the Hoboware Setup Assistant. Click Start. Here it asks you what kind of device types you're going to be connecting to Hoboware. By default, it selects USB and serial devices. If you're only going to use USB devices, you can select that and it speeds up your operation. If you're only going to use serial devices, you can select that either. Uh, also, um, also if you have, if you know what COM port you're going to be using for your serial devices, you can select those here. These can be changed in Hoboware preference, communications preferences. Click next. Under default unit system, by default, it defaults to US units, which are like feet or inches or PSI, depending on what type of measurements you're making. SI are international units, so that would be meters or millimeters or centimeters or kilopascals, things like that. Click next. Those can be changed also in preferences. Here it, it by default it selects all of the available data assistance. If these if any of these don't apply to what you're doing you can deselect them. However they're very very small files and don't take up a whole lot of room on your desk on your computer hard drive so leaving them all um, enabled won't take up much space at all. Click next and then we click done. So here is, it'll say, thank you for installing Hoboware. And it, this is where it will let you put in a license key number if you have one. 
If you don't have one, you can click on I want to use Hoboware Pro, Pro Trial and it will run for 30 days and then it will ask you again for that. For this exercise, I'm going to show you how to put in a real license key number. It's important to put in the dashes. And if you purchase Hoboware as a download, this will be in your purchase information. If you can't find it, please call our tech support department and they will give you a license key number. If you click on OK now, Hoboware will close. That's normal. When you reopen Hoboware now, it will come up and say Hoboware Pro. And this is a licensed version. And you can double check that by clicking on Help, Manage License Key. And you can see there's your license key number. For more information about Hoboware or Hobo products, please go to our website at OnsetComp.com. Thank you.